more talk your shit, man. <laughs> talk your shit. You've been waiting. I've been covering it for three years. We've been waiting for this day. Nah, nah. First round. 21 second KO in his professional debut, Juan Marrero. How you feeling? I feel good. I feel um I, I could have fought twice that night. I could have fought twice that night. I was um I had a great camp. Um I had great sparring. Um everything I just felt strong. I, I felt strong. Everything was great for me. Everything was great. Alright. What did you see that made you go in for the kill early? First off, shout out to, to Coach Baker, shout out to Lando. Yeah, yeah, Great yeah. performance. Uh, yeah, first of all, I want to thank my team because, you know, they, they was able to give me the fight and they put me in the right position. But um, well, I think the kid the kid was a little bit too too confident. Yeah, he was too confident. Even, like, I was feeling his energy from the wins and all that. Like, we was in the wins. He was smiling. And then, um, like, just the way he was looking at me and stuff at the wins and walk, was walking around, like, if he had, had me in the bag. So I was like, all right, cool, like, he confident. And then um, came fight day, we came in, and just like I knew he, he came out, he was trying to run with me, and I, I hit him with a hook. And when I hit him, I knew I heard him. And, cause he, I had knocked him across the ring. Mm. That's when, um, I had to be patient though, cause like, you know, he, he was kind of wild. So after I hit him with the hook, I was like, all right, I'm gonna step to him. When I stepped to him, sure as enough, I thought, as I thought, he came with another hook. I rode it and cracked him with an uppercut in his eye, and I knew I hurt him in the eye because he grabbed it right away. So then, then that's when I that's when I hit him with it over and over again. I hit him with like four four uppercuts in a row into his eye. All right. What does it feel now to get that monkey off your back? Like you you done made your debut, and now you ain't got to wonder does Juan Marrero really have it? Um, really, it really wasn't nothing. It wasn't really nothing for me. Like, you know, like, like humbly, I always felt like I was always a destined, you know, destined for boxing. Like, I, I was born into this, like, fighting. Like, people make stuff up, like, how they used to be fighting in school. Like, you know my track record. I really was fighting in school and stuff like that. I was made for fighting. My uncles, my uncle and my grandpa were professional fighters. So I, I was born into boxing, so I always knew I was destined. So it was more just to let everybody else know, like, yo, I'm here and be alert. Okay. What can we expect? Uh, I think you, you said you will return in July. Yeah, I'll, I'll be back July twenty second. Um, you know it. You know it's just expect another knockout, and I'm, I'm talking about like spectacular fashion because I mean I'm breaking orbital bones, and so that's what I'm doing now. So expect something else. Another orbital bone getting broken in July twenty second. So okay. let's go. <laughs>